Hi, my name is Julio Guzman. I'm the Vice Mayor of City of Homestead. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to be with Go Latino Magazine. Um, you know, my, my early childhood started with a very, very good upbringing. My mom uh, was the first of 13 children to defect the Dominican Republic and reach New York. And I was born actually in Jersey City, New Jersey, and I came to Florida at the age of three. So growing up, I had very good parents. They were excellent role models. They were extremely hardworking and I got into sports. So being Dominican, baseball is the sport that we really, really love. And I played baseball all through Little League. Uh, I went to college in Tennessee. Uh, I was you know, lucky enough to be drafted to play professional baseball with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And it taught me a lot. It taught me how to compete. And I still use what I learned in sports in business today. So I got involved with the city of Homestead because I didn't like the way things were going in the city. I wanted to make some changes because I'm raising a family here. I wanted to see, you know, a vibrant community. I wanted to see opportunities for all. I wanted to see, you know, opportunities for Latinos. And I got involved with a lot of civic organizations. So I got involved with uh, Kiwanas. I got involved with Rotary. I got involved with the Chamber of Commerce. And it was, it was kind of difficult with the Chamber of Commerce because we were going through the pandemic. So I tried very hard to keep information flowing, valuable information flowing to the people uh, in the business community so they could get help with the PPP loans and just to be moral support because they were all going through a very difficult time. So an opportunity came up to run for city council. I campaigned. Uh, I was visible out in the community telling people how I want to help. And lucky enough, you know, God bless me and I was able to become the vice mayor of the city of Homestead. So what inspired me to become um, a public servant is I'm raising a family here in the city of Homestead. I've been in the city of Homestead for over 40 years. Um, like all other great communities, you want to see your city great as well. And I want to have great schools. I want to have great entertainment. I want to have great parks. I want to have a great quality of life. So in order to do that, you've got to get involved in your community and start to advocate and try to make the changes that you see are necessary. And most importantly is opportunities. Give everyone the same opportunity to succeed. You know, sometimes it's a little easier for some people. Uh, I want to do what I can to help everyone have the same opportunities. So that's the main reason I got involved in public service is just to create a better quality of life for our residents and to create opportunities for those coming behind me. One of the biggest challenges I've faced in life is losing my father at the age of 21. So as a, as a young man, you look to your parents as role models and he was always there. He was the person that you would come when you're down or you're feeling very happy. He was always there to give you that advice you needed. So at, as a young man, you lose your father. There's a big void in your life. So I lost my father actually when I just became signed to play pro ball. And having lost my father during that time, it's even more difficult because he was so proud and he was so happy that uh, I was playing at that level. But over time, you learn to deal with adversity. And I've got an older brother, an older sister that have always been there with me. I've got a younger brother as well. We're a very tight knit family. We all get along extremely well. And they have supported me throughout all of the challenges I've had in life. So some of my greatest achievements, um, one, I think having a family is the greatest achievement uh, a man can have, in my opinion. Um, raising someone with the spiritual and fundamental guides that you were brought up with, I think is extremely important. Um, being a good husband is, is a great achievement. And having a successful real estate brokerage, I'm extremely proud of that because you can actually help others have a meaningful career in real estate. And a lot of people think being a realtor is easy, but it's not. There's a lot of work that goes behind it. And for me to be able to have this opportunity to teach people how to have a successful career, it's great because now I'm touching that person and they get to ultimately help their family. And that's one of the things that I'm truly proud of. And also being a public servant for the city of Homestead is, is one of my greatest achievements because now I've got a, a seat at the table where we can bring forth great ideas. We can bring forth opportunities that may not have been there before. And that's what I want to continue to strive for is try to reach a potential that you don't ever think you can make. So if we keep thinking like that and all of us band together as a united team to make Homestead great, 
we will ultimately achieve a super great homestead. Message of inspiration that I would give uh, for Hispanic Heritage Month would be, it's not always going to be easy, but you have to continue to fight. You have to continue to try. Um, you appreciate success a lot more when you've gone through failures. I don't think I've met any truly successful person that hasn't gone through a lot of trials and tribulations in their life. So the message I wanna give is fight and continue to fight. If you fall, get up again, try again, and you will be successful. You just gotta stay focused and continue to make it happen. And again, we wanna surround ourselves with like-minded individuals that wanna provide opportunities because together we will come up and we will rise as a united team.